Today we're going to be looking at some even more heavily requested Styropyro crazy laser videos. Specifically, the laser shotgun and the laser bazooka. <laughs> They're just crazy. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. We're going to start with the laser shotgun. 40 watts, it says, which is insanely high for a laser. Hey, YouTubers. Now, where do I even begin? I just built something so crazy that I'm almost afraid to use it. So this is my 40 watt <laughs> laser shotgun. And uh, to put things in perspective, my uh, homemade lightsaber video that went viral a few years ago, that was 3 watts, and this thing is 40. So we're going to do some utter destruction today. Now the heart of this uh, laser shotgun is this 40 watt blue laser diode array that shoots uh, eight parallel 5 watt That's laser beams. That's cool. Eight that splitting that beams. Heat sink there. And then the battery is a giant uh, lithium polymer battery pack. And then I'm using 24 LM317 drivers. And then I added a moth for good measure. Uh, the versatility of using uh, lithium ion batteries. We use them all the time in a nuclear power plant for providing our uh, for uninterruptible power supplies for our vital instrumentation to use in case of an accident. You know, also data centers use them a lot and apparently homemade laser weaponry. Cool. Dangerous is an understatement for this thing. <laughs> There's no, no good reason for anybody to own something this powerful. But because it wasn't illegal this? for me to build, I decided to build it anyway. Alright, let's start with something easy. Yeah, there you go. Get those Here's some beam paper with splitter. the range lens. Some trimethyl bright and methanol solution. I love it when he does that solution. It's interesting the different approach of splitting them, of it kind of being splitting them outward rather than combining them like in a similar way that certain types of nuclear fusion experiments go. Though granted those lasers are on the order of megawatts which is so so crazy. Here's some black powder. Pop, yep. <laughs> A ping pong ball. It's actually kind of relaxing looking at that one. Some flash paper. A piece of wood. <laughs> well, that's enough of this craziness. Until the next time, stay safe and happy lazing. You would think I would get bored of seeing him zap stuff with lasers, but no, it's actually very relaxing and just cool how silent it is compared to a lot of blasters you see in Star Wars, which, by the way, aren't actually lasers. They, they just use the term laser a lot in that show. But really, it doesn't have characteristics at all compared to an actual laser. It's more of a plasma weapon. Anyway, time for the laser bazooka. Hey everybody! Now I feel like I say this a lot, but I just finished building my most terrifying device yet. So this right here is my 200 watt laser bazooka. 200, 200 watts. watts! Now just to give you a scope of things, this laser pointer right here is .005 watts. Yeah. That's at the FDA limit where a quick flash of the eyes shouldn't do any eye damage. If you want to see my reaction to his super crazy upgraded laser pointers where he got to over 3000 milliwatts, which is absurdly high for something that'll that'll fit in your hand so neatly like that, I will pin that in a comment below. Now this laboratory laser right here is 0.5 watts, which puts it at the highest danger safety rating for yeah. a laser, which means that just looking at the spot on the wall can give you eye damage. And then this baby right here sits at 200 watts, which means it's 400 times over the most dangerous rating imposed by the FDA. Need class S lasers, S for Styropyro. Forget class 4. Without further ado, let's play with this thing. I built this laser bazooka almost completely out of scrap parts and broken electronics. Oh, I like that he keeps he kept the fire diamond on there, and yep, that symbol means uh, means radioactive material because lasers are in fact radioactive. So the casing of the gun is built out of scrap metal that I cut down with a file and a hacksaw, and yes, that took a long time. 
And then the heart of the gun are these uh, four 50 watt blue laser diode banks that I ripped out of some uh, broken DLP projectors that I scored off of okay, eBay. Okay, so four 50 watts these parts to give right you the 200. Here are called knife edgers. They're uh, optical components that uh, combine the individual laser beams from the laser diodes to make a more homogenized beam. Then here's my uh, main focusing lens, which uh, simply condenses the output for uh, up close burning. Then this yep. is my safety switch, which is really just a screwdriver jammed into a circuit breaker. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> just gotta show a little bit of class there with your screwdriver in there. <laughs> That's your safety switch. <laughs> Here's what I typically think of when I think of a safety switch on a breaker, clearly visible from at least 20 meters away that, hey, Here's the emergency, turn this thing off, stop the craziness from happening, switch. That screwdriver is amazing. Then of course I also decided to add a, a Lepidopter and amplifier, because you can't have a good uh, laser gun without one of these. And keep in mind, any of these, like you mentioned with the lab laser, none of these, whether it be the shotgun he used earlier or the uh, bazooka he's using now, as a handheld, any lasers, that, there are lasers that are this powerful, or much more powerful in the case of a uh, of uh, nuclear fusion experimental reactors, but those are bolted in place. Everyone has to go through specialized laser training just to set in foot with the room, in the same room with it, let alone actually operate the thing. There's additional, there's various levels of laser training you, uh, you need to take, but this is just, <laughs> this is just crazy. Is that a moth? This thing is so unbelievably dangerous to operate, I had to build this. It's simply a uh, welding mask with laser goggles fit into it. That way okay. I don't go blind when I'm using the laser. All right, let's fire this thing up. Hit the safety switch. The power output on this thing is insane. Blue square fact, of the doom. Into the eyes would be 33 million times more intense than staring into the sun. And actually, I'm pretty sure that this is the strongest portable it. laser that's ever been built by Obvious. So that's pretty awesome. And man, it just feels like I'm holding a bowl of lightning in my hands. This is definitely my new favorite toy. It's, yeah, it even looks just like a big fluorescent light thing of obviously, you know, turned up to ridiculous levels in terms of beams. But it, it looks, it looks solid just because it's a really big, thick beam. It's crazy. Usually I'm used to lasers here. focusing in on something. There you go. <laughs> Titanium infused gunpowder. Whoa. <laughs> Sparklers. Oh, that's pretty. A block of wood. Of course. Barium flare mix. Love the green. A cardboard box. Oh, that's gonna burn. And finally, some balloons. <laughs> you gotta go with the balloons. Yeah. Which one of those would you like? Or both? Or neither? Because there's completely crazy. <laughs> Man, that, that bazooka one, though, it really does look like a more solid beam in that these are crazy. And no, you wouldn't use any tools like this at a nuclear power plant. But thank you so much for the recommendation. It's always fun to bear witness to the insanity on Styropyro's channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.